How's it going, my lovely death disciples? I am the Shattered Reaper, and today we are going to continue our Warhammer 2 Let's Play as the Heralds of Ariel, where last we left off, we had just been dealing with the Skaven, as per usual. Uh, Morathi declared war on us, and uh, so it kind of led to a, a bit of genocide upon the Druki, and uh, also the colonizing and capturing of the ancient city of Quintex, so, uh, there is still lava in the area, unfortunately, but uh, it's not as active as it was before I came here. So uh, we're definitely making some progress in the area, making sure that it doesn't go as sporadic. We also made peace with the uh, exiles of Nehek, so we're friends now, we're good buddies now, and uh, all is good and well. We do still have Marathi up here at the pits of Zardok and the uh, Clarax Spire, and we do also have Clem Mulder up to the north to deal with. Um, we are currently uh, trying to uh, have our... Uh, the Sisters of Twilight! Thank you, yes. Uh, we are currently having the Sisters of Twilight retreat back to uh, friendly territory so that they do not... Uh, so they can replenish their forces and all of that. And, uh, Looking yeah, you guys are just gonna be resting here for a bit. What in fact, we'll have you rest and have grief for a no. bit for some extra replenishment. The Sisters of, oh, of Twilight! Mind. I suppose they won't be getting extra replenishment, but they will be able to replenish, and that's all that matters. Uh, so we are still dealing with uh, Clan Mulder and things up in Nagarond, uh, but also at the same time we have been able to uh, fix a few things up around in um, in uh, Avalorn and Althuan, where uh, the Force of Chaos just went on a huge rampage throughout uh, Tyrion's lands, as you can tell. Went all the way down to Port Elsinore before Tyrion finally stopped them. Uh, so, uh, obviously this is just gonna need a very, very important crew of people to clean up the mess. And, uh, you know, Tree Singer, uh, Thilvokas is more than willing to, uh, help out with the, uh, situation a little bit. You know, just, just, you know, rebuild a few things. Make sure that everything's looking nice and fine, and that all the destruction that was caused by the forces of chaos, along with their chaos artifacts that are scattered around the place since their destructive havoc has been going around. I mean, you know, we're willing to help out. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, we might require, it's just, we're gonna be staying for a while in those places that were destroyed is all. We're gonna make sure we get to them first. But anyway, also going on, we also have another situation over here where we are also, uh, where, well, we made war with the mercenary, with the bowmen of Orion because how dare they leave Alpha Lauren and not call back? Like, how rude of you to just leave us like that? I share the forest's thoughts. Like, who do you people think you are, huh? You think you're so special or something like Bring that? Bring the blight. Well, allow me to demonstrate that you just made a terrible mistake with our new Dark Weaver, Yusalal. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely not happy with that, but nothing's gonna be happening for the moment. Uh, but we are gonna be, uh, yeah, there's uh, not a whole lot's gonna be happening for a while, so we're just gonna continue on. Oh, uh, right, and we do also have a new army over here, so, uh, will you will be helping our new Glamour Weaver train people up with our, uh, soon-to-be, um... Uh, Glade, or our uh, great, our sisters of Thorn. I mean, uh, we're also going to be having a couple of Glade riders as well to assist with the uh, range uh, cavalry combat. So uh, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of that fun stuff. So let's do it. A new army prepared to be able to deal some very much needed damage. Uh, we do also have the uh, forest over to the south in the uh, in Lustria. Southern Lustria, uh, but unfortunately, it is owned by um, the. Uh, oh, uh, what do you know? Uh, things have happened. Uh, all right, well, um, Dark Weaver Yesalal, uh, you've got the Scarecrow banner, so I definitely have. Ca um, that is quite a few people uh, there, though. Um, got some Eternal Guards without shields. However, um, I do have a keen advantage that they don't have. While they may have the numbers, 
they, uh, oh, they do have zelts, though, so that is a little bit of a problem. Just a tiny one, though. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe a bit of a bigger one, because zelts are pretty big. Um, nah, actually, maybe, let, let's dance. not, let's not fight the, the entire bowman of Orion with our Dark Weaver. It's probably not the best idea. Uh, Spartacus has decided to cause some trouble at the Clarax Spire, so good on you. Excellent, very happy The Mother with Goddess guides me. Now then, uh, what to do with you? Uh, why don't we go ahead and send you over to the pits of Zardok so that we can clear Your things up vengeance. in Nagarond as quickly as possible? I'd very much like that. Serene Nestra. I'm gonna go ahead and send you to investigate Nagarond just to make sure the clan, uh, Mulder is in fact not there. Attack. Oh, well, what do you know? They were. So, uh, don't mind if I just go ahead and ready. annihilate all of you. Alright, perfect. Uh, they're all dead. And, uh, let's see. We're gonna Eradicate raise the motherfucking place to the ground. It's not watch. good enough that it was raised once. It needs to be raised again. I mean, after all, it was ra it was occupied by Skaven, so, like, you know, we have to make sure that's all, like, gone and End that threat. And it's totally not because of how much money I, I was able to be offered. I mean, after all, I was able to re reject some offers uh, where I could do that to the Asurians. I, I am more than capable of being a benevolent person. It's just the Skaven I do this to. And the Droki. Those are the only two I do this to, and they kind of deserve it. Mostly because they're slavers, and also because the Skaven just deserve it even if they weren't slavers. Uh, anyway, Vols and Volsmith, uh, plus 14 armor and 14% weapon strength, and a sort of strife melee attack plus 7, and melee, uh, or I mean weapon strength plus 5%. Uh, the sort of strife ha never has an owner for long, for those who wield it will always find it in their hands when their temper rises. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Glory of what battle. can we get for you? Uh, what spells shall we upgrade? Uh, let's upgrade Dweller's Blue. I think that's a good one to upgrade. Yes, I think so. Speaks. And uh, Dark Weaver. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to deal with this, if we're being perfectly honest. Because it would have been one thing if we were able to deal with Elfrin alone. But no, he just has to have the rest of his buddies with him, too, so it's like... Fine. I see how it is. Jerk. We'll just have to, uh... Set a little I bit over here. Air. Just, you know, dance on the grave of Imric over there. I'm pretty sure nobody minds it. Oh, what do you know? Escaping her here. Kind of lucky, really. Uh, Deathmaster Schnick. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Henry, I certainly do hope that you are, uh, I, I am very confused at the fact that you have allied yourself with this, um, but I certainly hope you have enough sense to not oblige yourself to an alliance with that. Uh, so, um, you know, um, Cetra, I do understand you as being a wise and also cruel kind of leader, so, uh, in your wisdom, I'm, uh, assuming you're not gonna join his side, right? And once again, I have been disappointed. Well, yes, Camry's just gonna die. They die. Indeed they will, so, uh, Dark Weaver, they must do the fall. thing and just kill them we all. We fight for the forest. Strip the growth from them. And, uh... They must be broken. Yeah, Alas, they, they do. We're gonna have to destroy this place first. Yeah, I think it's only fair that we cleanse the place. And, uh, let's see. Uh, what to get here? Why don't we get ourselves some... Hmm, power of darkness. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what else do we have, though? Uh, this, uh, looks like a good... Uh, okay. Uh, so it's just a, uh, passive ability. Okay, that works. Um, let's get Forest Fury for some dwellers below. Seems like a good idea. 
And uh, as for you, let's get you. Um, let's get you piercing shots. Make those arrows effective as all fuck. My song was heard. And uh, we'll also get. Mm, let's get Arahan for the reforged Twilight I Spear. I love it. What is wrong as with your mage. current one? Okay, so neither of them have the Twilight Spear, but he does have the Eagle Vam braces, so that works. Um, Victory. You are currently undergoing attrition, more. though, so uh, I, I kind of feel like you should move a little bit. Uh. Anyway, so that's that taken care of. Uh, let's see, Tree Singer. Um, oh my. So it seems like somebody wants to cause some trouble. And, uh, I'm not sure how I feel like it, I feel about it. Uh, but, you're going to have to go ahead and, uh, do something, uh, rather important, so, uh... Hmm... I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking yes on all of this. Oh, wait, actually... We should probably go over to Evershell, make sure it doesn't get attacked or destroyed or anything like that. Gotta make sure that uh, it isn't destroyed. We got ourselves a lot of dryads. We need to get ourselves some heavy artillery in the form of giant tree men. They will be able to do the work that is needed. Oh, and also, can we get a blade singer? Oh, yeah, we probably should have gotten one of those, but oh well. We'll get another one soon enough. Eventually. We just kind of need to get ourselves some uh, tree men is all. We gotta get the giant beefy uh, well, not necessarily beefy, because they are tree men, so, um, I guess, uh, the, the nice ranchy? Is that the right word to use, or should there be another word? Probably should be another word. Anyway, so it seems like, uh, more slimes, whatever's, uh, oh, now they're attacking Guy and Vale. Well then, it's your funeral. I've already worked too hard to do the ritual of rebirth in Gaian Vale. I'm not gonna be beaten here. And I'm definitely not gonna be beaten by Skaven and what the fuck. Plague Monk Sense of Errors, okay, that makes sense. Uh, flagellants from the Empire. And also Night Goblins and a Grail Relic from Watonya. Watonya? Excuse moi, monsieur! Do you. T I have absolutely no explanation for this. I have absolutely none. I. You can make me think as much as you want about that, but it's just gonna come up with nothing. Just how is someone who is meant to represent the great glory of the lady and the holy grail, the fuck is he doing with a bunch of scavens? And also a bunch of night goblins, but mostly the scavons. I do not understand. I simply do not understand. You could mention this to me as many times as you can. You could come up with as many theories as you want. I could come up with as many theories as I want, which I don't want to, so I'm not gonna. But I am not gonna understand what the fuck is going on with that. I just won't. It's impossible. Waystalker, ready! Anyway, Waystalker, you have a bunch of terrible heathens that need to be- uh, not heathens. Uh, heretics. That seems more appropriate. That need to be destroyed. At once. And don't- I see they have a giant spider on their side. Interesting. And they also have a bunch of those disgusting doom wheels. That's gonna be annoying to deal with. But we have a, ourselves a bunch of tree kin. And, uh, uh, most importantly, the tree man. We also have our Sisters of the Thorn, a Forest Dragon, and our Nuclear Warhawks. So I can say with a with plenty of confidence, we are 100 percent prepared for this. But I just can't understand what the hell they think they're doing. The Grail Relics. What are they doing with their lives? Let's see, Curse of Anrahad. We're definitely gonna need that. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Oh, 
Waiting orders. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put our giant tree man at actually no weight. Put them on the flanks. So that they can be the ones to handle the doom wheels. Pretty sure they'll be able to take care of them, no problem. Alright. Now, normally I'd be the one to just let the archers handle this, but you know what? We got ourselves an army of chargers, and uh, we also have a bunch of people that need to die. Whether they be human, whether they be skaven, whether they be goblin, they all need to die. And there will be no exceptions made whatsoever. They all need to fucking die right the fuck now. But, uh, obviously we have to start things off right, you know. So, uh... Nuclear Warhawks? Let's see... Let's get those Plague Monk Sensor Bearers. And, uh, also this unit of Poison Wind Globideers. Because, after all, I am... I do not like them. They are extremely annoying. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that not pleasant for you to deal with? Oh, uh, what a shame, really. Too bad I don't care. And, uh, don't mind if I just go ahead and send in my giant dragon to deal with these night goblin archers and anyone who just so happens to be within the vicinity with his acid breath. There we go, much better. Now, uh, uh where is the Great Eagle? Oh, the Great Eagle's doing important things. Okay, got you. Alright, let's see. Can the Treeman do any special spells? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, anyway, you guys are focusing on the same Doom Wheel. Why don't we have just one of you face against one Doom Wheel at the very least? Or another Doom Wheel while the tree can handle the other one. Okay, so far things do seem to be going well. Uh-oh. That Doom Wheel is definitely causing problems, and I do not like it. Andre hair appropriately. Okay, now what are you doing over there? Because clearly it's not doing anything to stop the Doom Wheel, so at the very least you may as well get to stomping up people. Literally. Okay, taking care of the Doom Diver catapults. Excellent. There we go. I definitely want to get rid of those guys, because they are also annoying. Get rid of whatever artillery they got, I want them all gone. And actually, you also go for that Doom Diver catapult unit. And let's go ahead and send in another good-ass barrage of death by nukes! I'm sorry, but you probably should have realized that the moment you sign up with Skaven is the moment you die. You really should have. I mean, I have no idea what went through your head and thinking, Oh, it's just Skaven! This can't possibly go wrong! Oh, well, think again, bitch. Alright, and uh, oh, would you look at that? Some night goblins think they're gonna be brave and all that, or actually, they, oh, well, never mind. Already, uh, breathed on them, so you know what? Punished them a little bit. Let's go ahead and move up our nuclear warhawks just a little bit further forward so they can actually get to shooting people as well. Hmm. All right, seems like we're driving them off. Good to know. Things are working very well, it looks. Yep, they're all running away. 
Now, let's see how many of them we can get. I mean, we are limited on the ability of cavalry, after all, because we only have so many. Flatulence are down to dying to the last one, as expected, honestly. They are Imperial of Vagilance. I just never quite expected them to be as stupid as trying to sign up with the Skaven, really. Who would have guessed, honestly? I mean, really. Who would have any... Uh, who exactly would have thought that anyone would actually be so stupid to sign up with the Skaven? That's just completely ridiculous. Oh, yeah, and absolutely punish that Grail Relic. He deserves it. Or, I mean, they deserve it, since they are multiple Bretonian units, but you know what? You have greatly dishonored the lady. I should know, as for a matter of fact, as an elf, I know her true form, Lilith. So, uh, you know, you guys really dishonored her. I can definitely say that as a representative of hers, as being an, as an Azrae. That simply just, uh, that completely operates what with any Azrae. We are all able to represent her as we will and as we please. Don't no question. Because that's a very bad idea. But, uh, yeah, let's get rid of as many of the Skaven Globadiers as possible because they're annoying. So, uh, please get rid of them. And it's not just because of the fact they're Skaven, but it's like, they just use a bunch of poison bullshit. And we all know how I feel about bullshit. I do not like it. It is just awful to deal with. So, uh, make sure that as many of them are dead as possible. Good. Excellent. Glad you, we could all come to a good understanding. And, uh, huh, gee, it's almost as if that Doom Wheel Doomstag didn't necessarily work out. Funny how that works, and now three of them are destroyed. Along with your Grail Relic, your Flagellants, and, uh, well, you're kind of just left with a bunch of good-for-nothing bitches. And I also think some, uh, those, uh, Plague Monks didn't really suit you well either, so shame. Meanwhile, I still got all my units, and, uh, you lost a whole bunch of people. Well, not even people. Some of them were people, but, uh, I, they revoked their people status by signing up with the Skaven. So, uh, uh, you know. Anyway, let's see. Uh, we could get a bunch of money from releasing the captives, but I don't really need money. Uh, I don't really need to replenish them. Um, I will execute them as it is consistent with my desires of killing anyone who aligns with the Skaven. And, uh, oh, a raid by Queen uh, Crone Halibron in the Claude Coast. As if I don't have enough problems to deal with, but, uh, you know, she just feels like doing her thing. Itching for fresh battle. Now then, we also should probably go ahead and take Nagaron for ourselves, you know, for irony's sake, and also just so that Order I could get some sweet all. marble. So bored. So we'll go ahead and rebuild Nagarond being occupied and just basically say to uh, Malekith being all like, Guess what? I have your fortress. You stupid bitch. I'm sure he'll take it well. I'm sure he will take it very well that he lost his capital city. And uh, that he lost it like a complete and total bitch. I am cold. Because he is. Let's all be understandable of that. I mean, it is completely 100% Malekith's fault that he is a bitch. Anyway, gonna check in and see if the sacred pools are... Oh, they are still occupied by the defenders of the great plan. Why can't they just let me own the place? Why can't it... Do I have to kill them? I really don't want to. That seems like something I don't want to do. No. Anyway, we're gonna get a new Blade Singer, and uh, let's see. Should I get myself an, uh, one of these guys? I think I should. I should get myself an Enigma of Gyron. Or, in other words, as the ultimate Zote unit. I think that is. A very fine idea, if I do say so myself. Why, thank you, myself. You definitely do know a good mind when you see one, and I'm just gonna stop this whole bit. And, uh, go ahead and occupy Casabar. We at least have some place to be able to, uh, work with. Make it into a forest lookout, and, uh, yeah, Camry is at war with us. For reasons that are completely unbeknownst to me, because they decided to come to the aid of Skaven. 
Let that be noted in the history books in despair. Or whatever it is we use for recording data, because now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure recording things in books probably not the best thing or best idea, considering um, our friends. Do we have to talk and to what them, books Nestra? are made of? It is but a moment of your time, Arahan. All right, what do you want? A non-aggression pack? Sure. <clears throat> you could definitely use more paste in uh, the Nagaroth continent. Oh, great. Uh, Queen Helbron is still raiding my places, and uh, not having fun with that. And oh, well, this is going to be a bit of an issue. Nestra Arahan. Well, um, it looks like we might just need to uh, deal with, with that problem. Forest. I will, however, go ahead and make this elven haven, and also get the stone cutter so that I can have some marble. And then I'm also gonna have to deal with Queen Halibron. The Ma oh Malakath. Ah, well, I guess I probably should have thought about the fact that he'd be very insulted by the fact that I took his capital after cleansing it of the Skaven and all that. And then there's also uh, Leaf Swordson. Wow, creative name. It's almost as if you took it from someone else in our world and then just uh, took it for yourself, but just instead of Ericsson, you just called yourself Swordson so that your name could mean Leaf Son of the Sword. Creative. I'm definitely going to punish you for uh, just how lame that whole thing is because uh, I am definitely calling you out on that. That is just 100% lame. Uh, anyway, so, um... Okay, so we have that, and, uh... Alright, so we just have one more turn for that Blade Singer to come around, and, uh, we'll be good to go, and we can go ahead and, uh, restore some places. And, uh, re uh, yeah, we are gonna have to restore Tor Ser... the Sor... Seroyer. That's the name. I totally 100% knew it. You can't say that I didn't, because that would be, that would be, uh, that would be blasphemy of you to do something like that. You wouldn't want to do something considered, that would be considered blasphemy, now would you? Mage of the Faithful. Anyway, Glamour Weaver, uh, you got a job to do, so why don't we go ahead and have you, uh, oh, hello, Malice Darkblade! How nice to see you! Um... Kind of a problem, though. Uh, you see, I own your capital, you see. And, um, okay, so I see Marathi and Malice Darkblade are here. So maybe not send our Glamour Weaver against them. That might not be the best idea. Yeah, I, I, I think I may have doomed our Glamour Weaver. Sorry about that, hun. Um... On the upside, you do have a bunch of blade singers and war dancers, and also way watchers. So I think you'll be fine, maybe. And oh, Hexwaddle now also owns the sacred pools due to Confederation, and Crown Hellebrod is just being an ugly bitch. And there's nothing I can do about it. We fight for Athalorin's future, for the king and queen in the woods. The trees will sing of our victory. Okay, you definitely had a lot to say there, Glamour Weaver, but I do completely understand you are up against Malice Darkblade and also Marathi. And in Queen Ariel's name, you will defeat them both in one fell swoop. Now, I don't know how Marathi was able to confederate so many Druki factions, if I'm being perfectly honest, and I'm also unaware as to how Hexwaddle was also able to uh, confederate the Defenders of the Great Planet. Oh wait, the Spirit of the Jungle is also the same as the Defenders of the Great Planet. My bad, sorry. Um, I completely forgot about that because it's been a while since I did Nakai's campaign. Uh, but... I... Uh, where, what was I doing? Where was I going with this? Oh, anyway, um, you guys are gonna die Make because Ariel slavers' lives don't Orion matter. Proud. Because I have one advantage that you don't. And while I may not have my nuclear warhawks, I do have a much, a much better thing. And that is still range superiority. And also, crazy 
pissed off women ready to defend the trees and they are going to show you some female power here and now. Also, I have Loic on my side, so uh, he's definitely going to have a bit of vendetta on you guys. So uh, prepare to have your asses handed to you. And you may have a Reaper Bolt Thrower again. Very creative name, considering that the original was just called the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Like, damn, must have taken you a while to just think of an edgier version of the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Awaiting the call. You damn droopy, always happen to be those edgy ass fucks. But you know what? You guys could do you. You can try as much as you do. But at the same time, we're also going to do our thing. And that is being awesome. And also owning your asses. It's very thoroughly and very hard. Just so that you are all aware of just how much thrashing is going to be done. And yes, these girls are going to be putting on the straps. And they're not gonna go easy. They are gonna ram very, very deeply into you. So, uh, do be aware of just how bad this is gonna be for you. So then, how shall we do this? Okay, okay. I see you got uh, your, uh, your your few units up there, Malice Darkblade. Seems eager to fight. Just willing to get right into uh, firing range, it looks. And uh, you can't see my war dancers. Always a good thing. So, uh, so you're not going to be able to use any artillery fire on them. And uh, we'll just have our ranged cavalry make their move, and uh, I cannot go up that direction. Immediately! Okay, so you guys are gonna have to go over here. Then. <clears throat> oh, hey, Malice! Yes. You seem to be coming in awful close to my way watchers. Oh, what's the matter? I, is your sword hand getting a little bit cramped there? Is it losing some blood there? Just from a. Uh, Strange enfeebling spell? Oh, jeez, that's just so weird, you know? That's just so odd how that conveniently happened like that. I swear, I have no idea how that could possibly happen. Okay, maybe back up my Way Watchers just a little bit. I may have underestimated this for slightly. However, my spell singers will be able to take care of this easily. And oh, would you look at that? Marathi herself is here too. Well, ain't that just nice and peachy. We will obey. And also not gonna go well for you. Just thought I'd make that part clear as well. Oh my, you sent your dark riders. How terrifying. Don't mind this uh, little thing of the trees just suddenly erupting from the ground just because. I mean, you may think there aren't any trees where this could possibly happen, but you know what? Here's the thing. The Azrae always find a way to involve more trees. Well, let's see uh, where Morathi might be. Oh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to focus on that. Um... Light Riders, we want you to get off, get after their Reaper Bolt Throwers. Their edgy names are worthy enough to just be destroyed. But, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and also show them a thing or two. Give a little cursing while we're at it. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't realize some female power here was really gonna kick some ass. Well, that's a little bit of a shame, and also, hey, Marathi, how you doing, girl? You, are uh, not doing too well there, Spell Weaver things ready. aren't quite going as well as you would have expected, and, uh-oh, um, Lammer Weaver might be having a little bit of trouble, and, oh, Death Hack just decided to leave her be. Waystalker ready. Well, I suppose, uh, while you're at it, may as well just shoot their Death Hag to make sure that, uh, and, uh, things are going pretty well over here, it looks like. Dark shards are, uh, getting run down. Spell 
weave are ready. Pull back! Hiding in Spell wait. Weaver is no longer ready. By your command. I'm gonna go ahead and use the volley of Kuranos. Right just away. a moment. Uh, oh wait, Malice is coming in pretty close, so maybe not so much. To battle! Okay, well, uh, not anymore, so let's, uh, just shoot him. There we go, see, right in the face. Always works. For Ariel, they will die! We grow restless! Okay, now, I don't know what it is with you girls just standing around when there's still more fighting to be done, so, uh, get back to fighting. You're already doing well, let's uh, keep up the pace of that, and uh-oh, seems like Malice is uh, definitely not having an easier it. time beating up my, uh, my, uh, my Waystalker guy. Um, I'm starting to think maybe this isn't going as well as I would have hoped. May as well summon the trees. Maybe this will help. Not quite as well as I would have hoped, but uh, it is at least good to summon him. Okay, and we got the enemy lord, so it looks like we took care of Marathi. Very nice, everyone. Excellent work. Oh, I see they still have that one unit of Reaper Bolt Throwers, those edgy assholes. Okay, uh, gonna need to finish off that unit of Black Art Corsairs. Because apparently they did not learn enough about the power of female power. Well, I'm sure you do. But, uh, you're gonna have to pay for underestimating their power, so, uh, you know. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and take him from behind like a real champ. Cause, uh, you know. They just weren't quite expecting this to happen, now were they? We are Spellweaver ready. Malice is still kind of barely holding on. Riders. Of We're definitely going to need to get some people back in the fight. Armed and ready. Let's have you take care of the Reaper Bolt Throwers along with uh, the uh, Blade Singers as well. Just take care of the Reaper Bolt Throwers. This is madness! Madness? This! Is Athalorn! For Eldrazor! Of course it's madness. Cersei should have expected it sooner, and oh, would you look at that? Malice is dead. Spellweaver ready. Poor Black Ark Corsairs. They were so heavily invested in for the Drookey. And yet they just kind of fell apart. Now then, why don't we take a little bit of, uh, revenge and just chase down whoever we can catch. I'm sure that'll make up for all the casualties we had to suffer here. And also for having to deal with reading their edgy-ass names. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to easily catch up to them. Without a doubt. I mean, after all, just look at you speedy girls. Oh, I'm sorry. Are your edgy dark shards not piercing my heart enough? Well, oh, gee, it almost seems like the dance of my war dances is just too enticing for the for your dark shards to do anything against. Ah, <sighs> well, that's quite a shame. You, you guys were expecting to just have a little bit of an easier battle, but guess what? Things didn't quite turn out as well you would as you would have thought. It really is a shame. At least to you it is. It's a joy for me. Now then, let's see if we can run down the rest of these Black Art Corsairs as they try to run away from me. Like the little bitches they are. 
All right, that takes care of them. And there appears to still be one more unit. Oh, a unit of Black Ark Corsairs. May as well hunt them for sport. There we go. Excellent. Unfortunately, it was a fiery victory. And oh no, did we lose our way, Stalker? Oh no, it appears that we might have. It appears we might have just lost him. And also a few other way stalkers along the way. And a couple of war dancers. So, yeah, we did take quite a few casualties. But we definitely took out a lot of theirs. I mean, look at that damage. Just fucking look at it. No way they're going to be recovering from that. Also, with Marathi and Malice being dead, or at least wounded for a time because of that nonsense. Because, I mean, really, come on. We all know Except they're supposed to be fish. dead. Oh well. Uh, at the very least, um, our Glamour Weaver was able to do plenty for this fight. So, uh, yeah, I definitely say her achievement of beating both Malice, Darkblade, and Marathi. That's quite an accomplishment, and oh, would you look at that. Almost as if on cue. You just really didn't want to let me rest, even though I did the proper and right thing of killing the Skaven, like, seriously. <clears throat> anyway, we got the Dawnstone, and Paltrin is our first Azrae casualty. Well, actually not the first Azrae casualty, how did I completely forget some of the others, sorry. Anyway, Cain! The bloody-handed god, the Azrae worship where they will, choosing to honor the gods that best fit their personalities. Attribute cause fear for all elf units. Ability heroic killing blow for all glade lords and glade captains. Recruit rank plus two for all units. Malice in Underworld. Do not shed a tear for this darkest, most murderous of Druki may now be with the Scythere, deep within the Mirai, where he surely belongs. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 30. Hag Butcher. Her dark magic, demonic packs, and evil ways have counted for naught in the face of superior arms. You have truly achieved much, Glamour Weaver. To think I believed the Druki fearsome. <laughs> Am I right? I mean, damn. They just absolutely. They just could not contend with what we Good had going for us. Weaver. Anyway, leave destruction. Make Ariel and Orion proud. Okay, so we did lose another unit of Way Watchers, and we also lost a unit of War Dancers. So. But we did take care of a Druki threat. The Druki do not beg. They cannot be allowed to thrive. Do what you must. Oh, we will. Gift. We will. Terrifying Mask of E. Don't mind if I do. Chachimon is. Dead. As and uh let's see now. Why don't we get ourselves a uh, hmm Call of the Woods. Since we have so many sword women, I think it's the most appropriate call to action. Victory woven once more. And uh let's see. We have a Skaven unit over at the Temple of Cain, so we probably should deal with that, actually. Since, unfortunately, our other army is not necessarily up to standard of being able to handle that. Finally, a fight! We fight for the forest! Alright. And... Temple of Cain is now mine. The blood will have to be cleaned, uh, but, uh, yes. Uh, well, Skaven blood, I mean. Any other blood would have been fine, but Skaven blood is definitely not worthy of being in the presence of Cain. And we also Mr. get to have a little Arahan. bit of time to replenish and also honor Cain. And of course, what better way to honor Cain than to have sacrificial grounds? I mean, he is the bloody hand so of God after bored. all. So impatient. And let's see, what can we get for you? Why don't we go ahead and uh, finish the dwellers below? <clears throat> and uh, we won't be able to recruit anybody for a while, unfortunately. But at the very least, we took care of a Skaven threat, so that's one thing taken care of. And uh, Scythere, Hakati, Mistress of Magic, or Atharti. 
Let's see. The gods of the underworld are treacherous, but their power is undeniable. Diplomatic relations plus 15 with the Druki. Not that I care. Uh, winds of magic cost minus one for lore of shadows and lore of dark magic. Global recruitment duration minus one for all units. And what were the others? Hakati, winds of magic, power reserve plus 20, cooldown minus 10 for lore of dark magic spells, and authority. Uh, global recruitment capacity plus 2. I'm gonna go Hakate, honor my patron a little. And let's see now. I'm gonna go ahead and get some, uh... Let's get ourselves a waystone. I think that'll be very nice to have cost in Kasabar. And let's see what they got here. They got a... Ooh, they got a couple of Ushabti. I'd really hate to damage those, because, I mean, you know, they're, like, really awesome, especially since they can have the head of, like, you know, a jackal. You know, like Anubis. It'd really pain me to have to destroy those. But sometimes things are necessary. And the Twisted Glade has been damaged, and oh, the monoliths have been destroyed. Great. Night and day. It's definitely a lot to deal with here. <clears throat> Let's see, how long have I been uh, recording? I'm just gonna quickly make sure. Okay, so we have a little bit of time. We do also have the Forge of Death, so uh, let's see. Dreaming Ring. Uh, restores up to 1248 health. 1632 health. Greater Arcane Conduit. Can't that. wait to splatter it in blood. What is wrong with your current one? I mean, it is a ring. But then again, I guess you could technically splatter it in blood. Just don't use it as a weapon. <laughs> I would highly not recommend it. It is a ring, after all. Anyway, so, um... Let's see. Iron Peaks is united under the Exiles of Nehex. We can't really move you anywhere, unfortunately. Must wait. Hmm? Well, this is odd. Who occupies this area? The Dreadfleet? Oh, that's right, I'm at war with those guys. But I'm also surprised that Tyrion kind of allowed this to happen. So, uh, Tyrion, what's going on, my man? Are you, uh, feeling okay? Uh, and would you look at that. King Ratik wants to go and avenge his Skaven allies by trying we to destroy fight me. For the forest. Yeah, that's definitely not going to, uh... I'm just gonna say this right now, it's not gonna work for you. It really isn't. I'm sure Anubis would very much be alright with me smashing your, uh, Ushabti, based on the fact that you came here to help out the Skaven. So, uh, King Ratik, let's just say I'm definitely gonna treat you just as badly as I treat the Skaven. And we'll just see how far low we can get you. Just saying. Now then, I obviously have far more better units, if we're being completely honest. I mean, I have my Blade Singers, my Wildwood Rangers, I got my Dryads, and I also got my Waywatchers and Deepwood Scouts. Well, not my Way Watchers, uh, my Glade Guard. But I mean, like, basically my point is, every unit of mine is obviously more superior than anything you guys could possibly muster. Although that giant bowman is pretty impressive, more I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, so with that being said... Let's just go ahead and arrange everybody accordingly with our Dryad sisters being able to take very key positions within our forces. Yeah, you guys will be able to traverse over that, so uh, I really only need to uh, arrange myself accordingly for this, and although then 
Oh, no, wait. No, never mind. This area I do not have to worry about entirely, just as I thought before. Good. Defenders of Athel Lord! Deepwood Archers! Dauntless Azrae! All right, that should work perfectly. We'll go ahead and set the Sisters of Thorn over here. Obviously, nuclear warhawks, you are just gonna be as you always are, like, right over here. Ready to unleash your nuclear fury. And, of course, gotta have my forest dragons available and ready to take a go and breathe acid and poison on the enemies and then go and munch people. Although, you are gonna be munching on skeletons and mummies, so probably not that satisfying, but you're gonna have a fun time using them as, as chew toys, I'm sure. Yes, you are. You precious good boys and girls, you. Spring will come! Now then, as I was saying, uh, who to target? I could go for their general. I could. Hmm. And, uh, yes, I will go for their general. Wait a minute, they could traverse over that? Well, that's completely unfair. How? Alright then, I see how this is gonna go. Children of Athel Lord, for Eldrazor! All right, everybody, let's get to charging them down. You got this, Blade Singers. I know you do, girls. And also Wildwood Rangers and uh, Forest Dragons. Get to blowing some, uh, breathing some acid on them fools. Especially on the Tomb Guards. We definitely want the Tomb Guards to pay. Oh, you're gonna go ahead and send in your chariots on my Blade Singers? <laughs> That's rich. Okay, you may have been able to run over a bunch of them, but at the same time, now you're stuck and your effectiveness has basically run out. Now, uh, Forest Dragon, hope you don't mind, but perhaps maybe you'd like a, a little bit of a firmer Chew Joy in the form of these, uh, robotic Ushabti. Oh, they decided to run away from you. Well, that's very rude of them to the do. We're really gonna have to make sure that they're punished for it now, aren't we, my special precious Forest from Dragon friends? Oh, and their lord is already dead. Huh. How easy that was to do. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, you haven't lost off your nuclear nukes. How rude of you to just hold off on the nukes. We're gonna have to make sure that, uh, we actually put it to good use now. Like here. Awaiting the call. And, uh, you really want to compete with the Azrae when it comes to archery now, do you? Well, let's just say that's not going to work out too well, honey. And not just because of the fact that we're already better archers, but also because of the fact that I'm going to throw spells at you for even thinking that you could possibly be better archers than we are. I mean, come on. That in of itself is just absolutely wrong. <laughs> And, uh, Forest Dragon, I got some more little, little peons that you need to breathe on. Yes. Oh, that's better. Now you want to go up to go down there and use them as chew toys? Yes, you do, I know you do. There's plenty of them to go ahead and nom, nom down on, so I definitely got plenty for you to use. Oh, oh, there are Tomb Guards, so do be careful. They, they are very pokey, so, uh, do be aware of that. And, uh, you're gonna go ahead and breathe down on them spearmen and tomb guards. Oops, did I do that? I'm sorry. I 100% meant to. 
and don't mind if I just go ahead and unleash more nukes upon you. We stand ready. Definitely 100% not sorry about it. My, I seem to be running out of targets to be able to use my nukes on. Now that's just not fair, really. I wanted them to stick around for just a little bit longer, but at the same time, the job is done, so it works for me. Wow, an entire force of Hemry to simply just fall beneath my feet just like that. Well, to be fair, they did align themselves with a Skaven faction, so I suppose it's only fair to assume that something like that was bound to happen. Though I will say, they put up a better fight than the Skaven did. Which, again, goes without saying, but, you know. Alright, and with that, we are going we to have to go ahead and abduct their skeletal bones and mummy corpses so that we can replenish our forces just a little bit and offer some more tree food in the region. So at least that part is taken care of. And we do still have that problem, unfortunately. <clears throat> Sword of Swift Slang, okay. And Architect, to plan buildings from the ground up, that is a strange concept in these parts. Present in, region, present in regions during building construction. All right then. And with that, we are going to go ahead and we are going to end the video. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give that like button a stab if you're dead. Subscribe if you want more death in your life. Be sure the bell is tolling for thee. Until next time, rest in peace. Bye! Enjoyed today's video? Well, there's plenty more for you to enjoy here. And if you also want to support this small channel, then there is also my Kofi, which is available, as well as a Twitter thread that gives you my commissioning info. And if you'd like some traditional art or literature, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Thank you for enjoying the video and for your viewership.